Always a bit tricky when they're spinning, swinging the head around like that, but thanks Frankie. <laughs> We G him up a bit. <laughs> it's not easy being a photographer when you're only five foot two. <laughs> Hi, I'm Francesca Altoft and I'm one of the photographers at Ascot Racecourse. I'm going to talk you through the process that I go through when photographing a race. So one of my jobs as one of the course photographers helping out the official photographer here at Ascot is to get photos of the winner of the best turned out. The easiest way to do this is to get them on the way to the start. We also try to get all of the runners on the way to the start just because you never know who's going to want to see those photos and they're often quite nice photos of horses before they get wound up during the race and obviously during the race it's pretty much impossible to get every single runner so we just do our best at this, this stage. This one's going to come past sideways, also not quite as photogenic as some. You've just got to trust that there's a good one in there somewhere and then when you get back to the press room straight after the race you can go through them properly on the laptop. I think that's the lot so we'll go over there. Um, so now we're going to go across the other side and a bit further down so we'll find a nice background for the photos. During races on the round course they're almost guaranteed to be on the far side rail. So because they're on that rail, we're restricted on where we can stand before the finish line on the far side. And again, I'm not the tallest. So being head on isn't ideal unless you've got a step ladder, which I have but in heels. I don't fancy standing on it very much. So being this side, you can just get a nice side on shot of the horses as they come past towards the line. And they're away. Racing, so no, so it's quite nice because in this job you don't really have to worry about too much until they turn into the straight. So you can watch the races, which is it's always quite nice, especially at big meetings, to be able to actually watch the majority of the race and enjoy them. I think understanding racing and understanding horses is quite important. I'm glad that I do have that passion for racing. I don't know what I'd do in life full stop if I didn't have a passion for racing. So. It, do, it does make the job easier, definitely. Right there, Marshall, plan two friendly, just fine up the rail. Tash Khan behind these from military Okay, meeting. so it's gone a little bit darker now. Um, it's not quite as bright as it was first thing. So I've adjusted the camera settings just to make sure that the photos are a little bit brighter. Um, Photography is all about light. So just looking at this race as they come into the straight. The horse on the outside, the Godolphin horse is Scarney, looks to be going quite well. Okay, so this looks like it could be quite a tight finish. Okay, so it's actually quite an easy race. You use the commentator a lot, so you're always hoping that the commentator's got it right. Um, in the closing stages, especially when it can be quite a tight finish like that. Um, it's never easy if the commentator doesn't sound too sure <laughs> about what's actually in front. Okay, so we'll see if we can get any sort of celebration out of this. Okay, so TV cameras ruin that slightly. It's always nice when we get a little bit of time without the TV cameras because then we really can ask the jockeys to celebrate. Um, but obviously the TV cameras were right there the whole way then, so no nice photos, but that's life. Yeah, so if we've not been to the winner's enclosure, we head back to the media centre, pick out the best photos quickly and get them edited into wherever they need to be. Some photographers, like myself, are working for the course, so sending them to the course photographer is the important thing there. Other photographers are working for the press, so they'll send off to various agencies, newspapers, whoever they work for, and that's how the photos get out into the wider world as quickly as they do. I think my style is, um, it's, it's always got the horse at the heart of it, rather than anything else. I hate photos where horses don't look their absolute best, um, and that's always what I'm looking for, where the horse looks absolutely magnificent because they are such gorgeous animals no matter what they look like no matter what their markings are and I think every horse can be made to look good somehow okay so this one the horse cantering to the start 
on a nice stride. It's got ears pricked. Fairly nice background, not too much going on behind it. We'll obviously crop that so that there's not too much rail in it. Okay, so this one is not a particularly nice stride, just with three legs back and one on the floor. Even though the horse has got its ears pricked, that's not a stride that I'd keep, so I'd delete that photo straight away. So my favourite thing about this job is the stories that you have to tell, the things that you get to see and no two days are the same. You're always getting different jockeys win, different horses win, and all horses have got a story behind them, no matter who they're trained by, no matter who they're owned by. And particularly at these big meetings, there's so many memories that you have by the end of the week.